Hi everyone. So as we are now coming to an end to the DAMS DVT, I hope you enjoyed the extravaganza of revision. I think th this is the biggest event ever done in the history of medical education in India live. This event was attended by around 2500 students live in the Shreveport Auditorium in Delhi. And all over India it was broadcasted in classrooms as well as on the eMedicos app and I am sure uh, you know, if you look at the data, it is between 40 to 50,000 students who have attended it concurrently live. You know, exact numbers will be coming up soon when we apply for the Guinness record. But I am so happy and to tell you that you are all part of making of history that medical education can be done in a concurrent, live, simultaneous, single India level classroom. Absolutely, yes. And I hope each one of you have enjoyed the DVT sessions over the last seven days. And uh, let me tell you the teacher's perspective, we, every faculty, you know, uh, when we are given an opportunity, we try and bring the best for you in terms of content, right? The content should be high yielding. It should be good for your end revision. You should be able to do it multiple times. It should solve your PYQs and your PYTs, right? So the teachers are going to bring, have brought you, I say, you know, uh, the best content. Apart from that, they bring you the best of their energies, right? They're here to motivate you, to help you progress in your journey. And they have definitely brought in lots and lots of good wishes and blessings for each one of you sitting out there. And also, I thought today I should give you some messages from my side. It is customary that on the last day of DVT, I always give a message. So my message for you today are first one is you are not any number, neither the money that you make or the number of likes that you get in a photograph or number of people who like your story or a rank that you get any exam. You are not a number. As a teacher, as a mentor, we love you. It is why, you know, there's no number matters to us. Yes. We have, you know, so please do not connect your self-worth to any outcome and feel free to, you know, come back to me after the exam, any time, you know, we are, we are here to tell you that we are here to be with you till the journey of the exam and even after that. And you're not, you know, you're not equivalent to any number. Don't define yourself with numbers. Right. The next thing that I would want to especially say is whatever you have done yesterday or whatever you did, let's say a week before or maybe your last month or maybe last year does not define you. Right. What is going to define you is what you do now with the time you have. So please forgive and forget everything that has happened in the past. Today should be a new beginning. Tomorrow should be your future. And what you have to think about is how to make the best of the time, of the resources, of the efforts that everybody has put in to bring something for you. And my message for you is that, you know, when you meet us today and you think that, you know, these guys must be having it easy, they must be, you know, winning very easily in life. I'm here to admit to you that we also have had ups and downs in our lives and we still have. So the only thing is that what we have done right is and I want you to, you know, take it as my message to you for your lifetime as well. There will be ups in your life. Enjoy the ups. But also remember when there are downs, you need to enjoy that phase and you need to learn how to make a comeback. How do we make a comeback? Every year I meet students who have come back from 40,000 to top ranks to not qualified to a top rank. You can be one of them. The only thing is that you need to know how to make the massive comeback. You make a comeback by going through the drill, accumulating small victories. And so we will do a series of tests for you in the subsequent months. You have a lot of grand tests and my advice to you is give... A, at least one grand test every week after the DVT. And in February, you can go up to two grand tests every week. And try to accumulate some small victories. Grand test may, or on a quiz, or on a telegram channel, or on the daily tests that happen on the eMedicos app. Right. Try to find yourself in the leaderboard. And if you find yourself in the leaderboard, put it as an Insta story, tag me, tag Dr. Deepti, tag Dams Daily. Let us know. The, but more important thing is, you will also get to know that I am on the leaderboard, I belong to the big league. Gradually, your confidence will come back. When your confidence comes back, go and hit the pedal harder and win the game big. I would also want to say to you that don't rule yourself out. 
there are going to be phases and i'm sure there have already been when you feel too overwhelmed you feel that this is the time that i can't take it any further right you feel like quitting but let me tell you the feeling of quitting is hardest it's strongest when you're about to reach your destination so if you have that feeling in you please tell yourself that i am there i can't give up now right so just keep telling yourself that there is enough time for you to have a comeback as dr sumay said there is enough time for you to revise there is enough time for you to you know um do anything that you really want to do provided you really want to do it so you know have this feeling that i'm no less than anyone else right and i'm going to use every exam as an opportunity to open new doors new horizons for me that's all that's what an exam is about it's nothing more than that but yes it's opportunities disguised as difficulties or exams or whatever the names you want to give it so all you have to do is have the courage to go and hold the door then feel it and then just open it and a new new world opens up to you so go ahead forge ahead with confidence forge ahead with you know self belief and definitely put your best in these 2 to 1 and a half months um do it truthfully and i'm sure you will come out as winners as successful people and as people who will have bigger impact on the society and my final message is it is from my a request from your teacher is please stay in touch yeah. you know our <laughs> relationship should not end at the end of this classroom it should continue and i promise you that i'll try my best to respond to every message that you send me throughout my life and uh, i promise you that uh, i'll be happy at every achievement that you do now i'm looking forward to hearing from you your, your especially your neat pg rank but not only that i will also be happy if you tell me that you submitted your thesis i'll be super happy when you tell me that you have done your md i'll be super excited when you tell me that you have joined your super specialty i'll be very very excited when you do your dm i'll be so happy when you get married and you send me a picture of your first baby please stay in touch please let us know all the milestones because as teachers those are the only trophies that we value when you progress you are the you know lead hero in this journey we are only the supporting actors and we feel very happy when the lead hero wins in the end we wish you all the best and always remember apna time upon khud laega <laughs>